What's up, YouTube? Got to see you back in the house again. Man, look. More game. More game. And more game. That's right. Welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, family, and friends, supporters. We love you. What's up? What's up? On this beautiful day. Look, I had a question from one of the subscribers um, about uh, should it should you get more or less axles and is five or ten dollars more worth um you getting more axles you know in other words should you get a tandem should you get a tri should you get a quad should you get a quint should you get an end dump right which one should you get right that's a good question i thought it was and i wanted to address that first of all tandems are out so unless you're in georgia or unless you're in a state uh that has tandems right that that like georgia runs tandem so obviously tandem would be the thing to start with but the base of your question asks and about multiple axles so we're going to have to deal with a state situation to where you know you can get multiple axles and which one you should start with here in south louisiana uh we run triaxles triaxles are king still but quad axles they making a showing and quin axles there are some here right so but try if you get a try you, you will work, all right? So let me just say the key to it is, is a few things that I believe will give you the game that you're looking for. Number one, what is what is the demand of your area, right? What is your demand? Again, Georgia tandem. So obviously, don't go get a triaxle because they don't recognize the third axle, right? So you're going to either get a tandem dump truck in Georgia or you're going to get a tandem trailer, one of the two, right? Real easy fix. But if you're in my metropolitan area or Dallas or something like that, that runs tandem tries quads quints trailers then you got to determine what is the hot one what is the most popular one i guarantee you there is one that is more sought after than the other even if it's just a little bit right so obviously here triaxles are king you can get a triaxle here you will work that's the bottom line right if you got a quad you'll work you got a quint you'll work but if you got that try you can enter with the try right which will be economically feasible and a responsible move right so first thing is you got to identify what is the demand of your area number two you wanted to know someone wanted to know is it worth it to for the, for the five or ten dollars more here it would be ten dollars more for the extra axle well yeah i think so over the course of time you are making ten dollars more so every day you're making a hundred dollars more right so you're talking about 500 extra dollars a week if a triaxle makes four you'll make um uh, uh what an extra if you just say for instance if a tri makes 4250 a week and you're making 95 that's an extra what hundred dollars a week or day rather more so 500 dollars more i mean 4750 yeah i think it would be worth it uh two thousand you know times four that's an extra two thousand a month times twelve that's an extra twenty four thousand a year so yeah I think it would be for an extra axle. Yeah. So that would be my, my answer. All right. And so uh, determine what's your market for where you're at. And do I think it's, it's, it's uh, feasible? $10 more? Yes. $5 more? Maybe not so much. Something to think about it. But if they're going to give you $10 more for that extra axle, yes, I do think that it would be well worth it to do it. Right? All right. And so... I think that's about all I can say about that. It was a great question. Thank you for asking that. And I hope I've done you some justice. Country CEO, hit the like and subscribe notification bell. I'm out of here. I'm gone.